Y'all come and sit down and shut the door. Young Miami has just confirmed, just confirmed most of Kathy's lawsuit. And baby, she did it while she was trying to clown Puffy's other woman. Or as she liked to say, Puffy's munch, Gina. Y'all sit down. We are going deep into surviving Diddy. This is going to be a series. And baby, you can call this part one. Young Miami just accidentally exposed Diddy. Or at the very least, it looks like she confirmed what Cassie was saying. Y'all ready to get into this? Let's go. Okay, if you've been hiding under a rock. Let me just bring you up to speed really quick, okay? Cassie, who was the ex-girlfriend of Puffy, they were together for over 10 years, came with a groundbreaking lawsuit. It is not looking good for Puffy. They are all allegations, but baby, these allegations seem to have weight. I did. I actually got the court documents. I did a full recap of all 35 pages. The news articles do not do the gory papers justice i'm telling you trigger warning but you need to watch that live but forget all that okay puffy made she made a lot of claims about puffy she said that puffy made her wear white nails because he liked the way that her fingers looked wrapped around dark I, i don't even think i can say it right on top of that she said that he literally blank trafficked her Um, made her search for male blank workers so that he could watch her blank them. And it was all this crazy stuff. It was literally some eyes wide shut, but like on some on on taken level, you know, with Liam Neeson taken level level, that's what it was. Again, we're not going to go through that, but woo. So a lot of people are like, what is going on? So like, He's in a voyeurism. He goes both ways. You know, Cassie or whoever the girl is in charge is in charge. And a lot of people first said, oh, my God, I hope young Miami's okay, right? Because that's his current girlfriend. If you read the abuse that he, she actually said, I firmly don't believe that people ever calm down from that level. It is literally on some, like, silence of the lambs without the lambs, Okay. So people were like, oh my God, is young Miami okay? And young Miami was like, you got the wrong B, everybody okay. And everybody was like, okay, so so maybe he did change. But the thing is, Gina, and who's Gina? She is a permanent side John of Puffy that went on Tasha K to basically expose how Puffy had done all these things. We have an audio of that. But more importantly, Gina showed up at some award show while Young Miami was there and they got into it. They were going back and forth, back and forth on Twitter until the last few tweets that quieted Gina up. And I remember when I saw those tweets, I was like, what? And Gina just got quiet. She was everybody on mute, the Beyonce challenge, right? But the thing is, what Young Miami tweeted, even though she was trying to go in on Gina, pretty much low-key confirmed everything that is in uh, Cassie's lawsuit. Coincidence? Maybe. Y'all, let's get into these tweets. Okay, so here's how it started, right? So it was, um, okay, so Gina posted herself at the Billboard Music Awards with a caption, love, 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 hinting at her relationship with Puffy, okay? So then Young Miami was, she was not having it. She said, somebody please give this B some attention. In true main chick fashion, Gina posted a pic on her Instagram story of Diddy kissing her on the cheek, adding, if anyone is seeking attention, B, it's you. Now get this, the feud boiled over on Twitter when Miami fired off tweets about someone who's been around just around for years needing to lay low. She called Gina a freaky AB and shaded a cheap A limp ball carpet. I remember that. Gina does have old carpet on her floors. And I'm like, how are you dating a billionaire? But you got like, you know, it, it just wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. So I assume, of course, that Gina was either clout chasing, lying or whatever. But y'all, Gina actually went on Tasha K after this and she shared some crazy information 
But first, let's get into the tweets that Young Miami might have really, I don't know, screwed Puffy over. Because again, it's just too analogous. Let's get into this. All right, so here we go. So if you don't remember, Young Miami escalated the food, the feud. She tweeted back to back random. And Gina was going hard at her like, yeah, you know, that's mine. This and that. They were going back and forth. But listen to what Young Miami tweeted that shut her up. She said, if I wanted you to eat my blankety blank, Diddy would have had you on your knees. Ho, ho, ho. You a eater. Now, when she first said that, I was like, ooh, that's so disrespectful. And I thought she was just being braggadocious. But Cassie, in her lawsuit, said that Diddy coerced her and kept her high on everything, right? Everything. And coerced her to engage in relations that she did not want to, forcing her to please him. She was forced to be with guys. She was forced to this. And he literally made her order out of a catalog of male blank workers to actually. And he liked black men, blank workers that were strong like bull. Interestingly enough, she also had to always have white fingernails because he loved the way her white fingernails wrapped around his presence. And she had to have these things called freak-offs once a week. You know what I'm saying? So when I read that, I was like, wait. Before I thought Miami was being braggalocious. But she is literally saying that Diddy, either by mental coercion or sometimes by force, force people to basically act as his little toys and pass around. Get this. She said, you want a baby B? I have a career, ho. You a certified freak. You haven't heard from Diddy since the awards reminiscing on, um, a, a you know, getting rid of babies. Let that hurt go. Okay. Again, she said you a certified freak. This is kind of pretty much solidifying that the freak offs is what Cassie called them actually do exist. She said, Gina, you've been down bad ever since I came into the picture. You've been crying for a baby for 10 years and you've been around as a bee that eat cat and dong. When he feel like it, you are an eater. You the same bee that was crying on Tasha K because you wanted a baby. This is what she said. Does that not sound like what Cassie said Diddy also forced her to do? She's basically confirming, at least if I read it right, or at least it's analogous, that these freak-offs actually did exist. And more importantly, as she said to Gina, she might have been braggalicious, but she, if Puffy wanted Gina to be at the service of young Miami, Gina would have to do it whether she wanted to or not because at that time they were going back and forth. So there is no way that Gina would have wanted to do that. Is this not feeding in and confirming the way Cassie was like, I was his toy and he made me do stuff against my will? Y'all, but it's more, right? And get this, in the interviews with Tasha K. I'm talking about Gina now. Gina did interviews with Tasha Kay. She described the same type of abuse that Cassie outlined. And get this, Cassie, this is how long Gina's been around. Gina said Cassie actually reached out to her to make sure she was okay. Literally, she reached out to her to make sure she was okay. Hold on, let's get into this. Let me play the audio. Um, when he was with Cassie. Yeah. So could you explain to me how this like came to be and what made you stay even though he was with Cassie? What was he telling you? When I first met Puff, I did not find him. A, I didn't like him like that. Okay. That's important to note because Cassie says in her lawsuit that she wasn't feeling Puffy either. Apparently, he really, really likes to chase. Note, if anybody wants Puffy, you better play hard to get. 
Now, whoever said, I'll play hard to get, that was a test and you failed. You better play hard to, you better play get away from me. Again, go watch my video with that 35 page. Stay away from Puffy, if any of this is true. Even if this is only a fraction true, you better run. Eventually, like he grew on me. And you knew about Cassie. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, did Cassie know about you? Is the question. She did. Or uh, she knew about me like four months into the relationship. Yo, he literally was playing okay. musical and how chairs. How did you find out about that, Cassie, knowing about you? Cause she um, reached out to me. Oh, she did. Mm -hmm. What did she say? Basically, she just said to just leave him alone. And you should have listened. Okay. But, then, but she reached out to me like a few times after that, and. And she's always, she was never like nasty to me. She didn't call me names or nothing. She was always nice. I don't know if it was fake or not, but she was always nice. Okay. What was your response? I will say Gina got a okay. voice. She, she told me like the last time I spoke to her, um, which was like a couple years ago, she told me, she was like, she called me at like four in the morning and was like, hey, I just had a dream and I just wanted to call you and um, tell you that I don't have I don't hate you. I don't have bad, bad, bad blood towards you or anything like that. I'm not going to lie. I really like Gina's voice. She sounds like such a sweet person. Um, we know Cassie is a sweetheart. And you know what? Young Miami, you know, she is a sweetheart too. Even though, you know, she always on her city girls up. And we're big fans of Young Miami. You know, here's the thing. I am not implying that Young Miami got her fingernails white like Cassie. Because you know that's the style now, right? Cassie had to keep on white back then when nobody's wearing white nail polish. I'm not implying at all that Young Miami is a victim of Puffy's paws because Young Miami said, Young Miami said, we don't got to worry about her. She is well protected. So you know what? Fine. I am saying that I do think that this argument with Gina expose something that I don't think Puffy's lawyers would want to get out that he does coerce women to do stuff against their will and they do do it because of whatever i'm not saying my miami has anything to do with it but yo this ain't good i really think from like a battle of two egos this basically exposed that there was some truth to what's going on with puppy and on top of that just like he never thought cassie would be the one to bring him down maybe he never thought gina would be the one to bring him down either Y'all, one way or the other, this ain't looking good for Puffy. Let me know what you think. You think this made problems for him? <laughs> sure ain't help. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll talk to y'all later. Also, don't forget, I'm going to be dropping a lot of videos tomorrow. Make sure y'all keep up. Bye.